because domestically there is no particularly strong demand for millimeter waves so initially the deployment of millimeter waves may be less this is our current 5g industry chain and ecosystem finally let's look at a global commercial plan in fact there are now many 5g commercial spots globally we are in east asia europe and north america there are many 5g commercial spots of course our initial commercial use will definitely focus on embb business because this business scenario is relatively mature and the commercial mode of this business is relatively clear for example we are in east asia right especially in south korea it was pre commercialized during the winter olympics then they have both high and low frequencies because they have some demands for home broadband access so they use the high frequency of millimeter waves for example south korea rc kt skt including lgu plus 051 they all have millimeter wave and c band resources they have already commercialized it for japan ntt's docomo they have corresponding spectrum resources at 4.5g and 28g and they have already commercialized it including softbank etc as for china we did pre commercialization in 2019 and commercialization in november we will do large scale commercialization in 2020 the same is true in europe in europe they also did pre commercialization in 2019 they will also do some large scale commercialization in 2020 some of the big teas in europe the main spectrum resources they got are also c band some operators such as deutsche telekom they also have some resources at 73 g hertz then there is north america north america mainly commercialized have been in 2018 that is fixed mobile access fixed wireless access it is mainly suitable for home broadband scenarios in 2019 the commercialized scenario is embb providing embb service to ordinary consumers the big t is right verizon but verizon and at&t actually they all got some millimeter wave bands but sprint they have a 2.5g band but because of sprint because they are merging with another operator so their entire 5g promotion is a bit slower okay this is the overall commercial situation of 5g in fact what we see east asia right they achieved the first launch of the brand in 2019 especially in japan and south korea they commercialized it in april the entire industry is promoting the development of 5g will explore the capability of large scale commercialization in 2020 okay this is our global 5g application Of course we said that in the early stage it focuses on the business scenario of enhanced mobile broadband EMBB for example our AR VR and high definition video and drone video return in addition the terminal industry chain of this industry chain will gradually mature our mate x mate 20 mate 30 including some other terminal companies they have all released some 5g commercial terminals for the scenarios of urllc and mmtc it will be slightly delayed especially mmtc it will continue to use 4g internet technology that is our nb iot and emtc the real m mtc technology will be delayed until 3g pps r17 to land similarly the scenario of this urrlc for example our vehicle networking our smart manufacturing robots networked robots this scenario it may take some time to explore it takes some time to cultivate it. okay this is the situation of our business in the first phase will focus on embb gradually extend to mm tc and urrlc in fact we only introduced a few typical applications here in fact based on 5g in the future the combination of 5g and the industry will gradually give birth to more applications but this application everyone can do some exploration for example the combination of 5g and the power grid we will have some smart grid solutions the combination of 5g and drones we can apply it to some security or some agriculture and forestry the combination of 5g and smart medical care we can consider our ultimate goal of remote surgery right to solve this the problem of medical resource imbalance including the combination of 5g and the industrial field smart manufacturing this is also mentioned by many countries for example europe mentioned 4.0 right etc these are all combinations with the industry of course when different industries combine with 5g when doing this kind of transformation their requirements for the network are different right for example for some smart grids this scenario of the smart grid is requirements for delay requirements for reliability 
फॉर एग्जाम्पल फॉर द ड्रोन सिनारियो हिज रिक्वायरमेंट्स फॉर डिले रिक्वायरमेंट्स फॉर रिलायबिलिटी इन फैक्ट देर विल बी सम डिफरेंसेज एंड द फाइव जी नेटवर्क कैन एनेबल दीज डिफरेंशिएटेड एप्लीकेशन थ्रू स्लाइसिंग टेक्नोलॉजी ऑफकोर्स वी कैन ऑल्सो इमेजिन सम अदर कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ फाइव जी एंड अदर इंडस्ट्रीज इन फैक्ट दिस रिक्वायर्स एवरी वन टू कंटिन्यू एक्सप्लोरिंग हियर वी जस्ट इंट्रोड्यूस अ फ्यू केसेस ओके दिस इज अस the last part is to look at some global commercial progress of 5g finally we will summarize this course in fact this course mainly introduced the development and evolution of 5g introduced the three application scenarios of 5g right emb b url l c and m mtc combining these three scenarios actually we will have some typical applications right for this emb b this var will be a very typical application for this url l सी व्हीकल नेटवर्किंग स्मार्ट मैन्युफैक्चरिंग फॉर दिस एम एम टी सी आ इट इज आवर इंटरनेट ऑफ थिंग्स इंक्लूडिंग आवर ओल्ड सिटी अनादर कॉन्टेंट इज द स्टैंडर्डाइजेशन ऑफ आर प्रोटोकॉल वी नो फाइव जी दी स्टार्टेड फ्रॉम आर फिफ्टीन देन इट विल बी इन आर सिक्सटीन टू ग्रेजुअली परफेक्ट सम ऑफ दीज टेक्निकल डिटेल्स आवर आर सेवेंटीन विल ऑल्सो डिफाइन द टेक्निकल स्टैंडर्ड्स ऑफ दिस एम एम टी सी फाइनली वी टुक अ लुक एट द सिचुएशन ऑफ आर इंडस्ट्री चेन एट प्रेजेंट our 5g end to end industry chain already has the capacity for large scale commercial use and our 20 and 2020 will be the years of global 5g large scale commercial use finally we also looked at some possible application scenarios of 5g of course this requires more exploration good our course on the development and evolution of 5g we will introduce it here okay thank you everyone